Hi guys and welcome back to ADSR Pro with me Mike Smith. We're continuing looking at the Flux VST that comes with Halion Sonic SE and all I've done is I've just created a baseline uh, from the original arpeggiator patch that we had. All I've done is I've copied the bottom notes and just done a single note because we're going to use the arpeggiator in this tutorial. So all I've done is I've created another Flux and I've initialized the preset and this is what it sounds like. So let's have a look. Okay, so here you can see we've got the uh, basic saw wave with the initialized preset. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn the app section on. Click on the app tab. Click on user. And let's have a look at some basic patches. So. I think that one will do for what we want and let's go back to the main window and we'll just start creating a bass patch so first thing I'll do is put this down a couple of octaves and let's find something a bit different to start with that's quite a nice starting point sounds quite nice and again what I like to do is just start with the amp envelope and again with a filter so I'm going to learn click my modulation wheel and then I'm going to put an envelope amount till I can hear So that's how it sounds when the filter's fully closed and when it's fully open. Bit of resonance maybe. Okay, let's try adding a bit of multi. Not going to go much. Go back to the main. That's nice if that's modulating. So let's modulate that and we'll use an LF4. Let's apply the mount. Now I'm going bi directional on this, so what's happening? is it it's the position is moving in this direction and then it's moving in the opposite direction if it isn't bi-directional it'll basically move from this point in the positive so let's listen to the difference that's bi-directional and i think that's fine we don't want it to modulate too much that's nice and let's add a sub oscillator to this as well. So click sub, turn the sub oscillator on. And I think this. quite nice let's try adding a second oscillator and let's try an FM Okay, let's 
modulate that with second L4. Is that? So there's our basic bass patch. Let's bring the art back in and As well, if we go back into the app section, we can change the gate length of the notes. We can change the octaves. We can also apply a little bit of swing. I'll go to extremes. also do again is apply some effects to this sound so I'm just going to put a delay on again I'll put a multi delay bring a mix down and the feedback change the timing tiny bit of reverb nice short time just a tiny amount of reverb thing we can do on the app is we have these different controller lanes so if we select one we can just draw a little pattern in and if we go to modulation we can have app controller lane one and let's say control cut off
there you go. That's just a basic patch. Again, I've not spent a great deal of time. You know, the idea is for you to experiment and find what works for you and sounds good for you. Uh, it's just to give you an oversight of Flux and help you find your way around it and see what the potential of this amazing little instrument is that comes with Halion Sonic SE3. So if you like what I do, again, please do subscribe to my channel as always. And until next time, bye bye.